Hello, good evening. Uh, welcome back uh, to this show. Uh, we conversations do matter, and we are here to share ideas. And uh, uh, we have uh, Mason Kwama Simba back. Uh, we decided to split the show to allow for structure and order. So Mason is here. And uh, you can uh, take over the show. So Mason... Are you talking to me, Miss Moe? Yeah. That's now your show. Let's hear you present. So it is freestyle. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry, Mr. Mawari. Matishi, sorry. Yeah. Hey, uh, the, I, yeah, you are, you, it's your show right, now. Right, okay, okay. So, <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. And um, I'm going to try to stick to the half an hour. I'm going to try to stick to the half an hour slot. Yeah, okay. So go ahead. Uh, it's your, it's all okay. yours. And um, am, am I going to be talking about my subjects, Mr. Mawere, or am I talking to you? Whatever, uh, whatever we are talking about, and uh, let's send... Uh, I, I can hear you. Okay, thank you. Right. Can you hear me? Right, so ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you very much for coming here, and uh, thank you so much. I... Hello? 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 Why don't you panic at delay in Bichana? Because Ndaku Bunza a question a few seconds ago. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, Mr. Mawere. Yeah, I can hear you and I can see you. And <laughs> uh, Mr. Mr. Mawere. Can you see me? There's letters I can, can see. Can you hear you. me? Yeah. And uh, uh, there is first uh, Mr. Jack Jet Singh. You know Mr. Singh? Uh, are we having technical difficulties? Uh, Mason, do you know Mr. Singh? Yes, I, I've, I've, well, I don't know him, but the corner him in life, which tower and I yeah, don't know him, he, but the corner him which tower and I'm restaurant, Mr. Singh. Yes, yeah, he doesn't speak Shona, so you must speak in English so that he can hear you. He's a member of C2C, he owns some restaurants. Is, is he there? Yeah, he just uh, wrote on the screen. Okay. How was your food? Okay. He gave me some food. Very uh, good Indian cuisine. Not North India. Northern India. So I just ate the food. Very good, tasty food. I ate the lamb. And obviously I ate uh, 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 some... Uh, uh, none there, and uh, it was excellent. <laughs> and oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. So uh, I'm going to be uh, ordering in this social distance. I can order and eat at home. When it arrived, it was, it was hot. And uh, hot plus hot. So um, it, I don't know. And then it, is that a judges? But Mason Syphilis is we, wearing. Is that a judges? Uh, what are you wearing, Mason? Um, I don't know what they call it, but uh, Mr. Mawere, it's it's a woolen hat. It's something just to keep me warm. That's that's what it is. 
eh jana syphilis jijiji a tunobvunza ye aprotanaka ndiyane ngadoro zviziva zvezve he seem to be an expert of syphilis Saka, <laughs> back to send the <Saint> brother <laughs> Yeah, then <laughs> Mr. Mawere, your life now, Mr. Singh, was very good. Keep bringing him to educate us on business. So he's listening, and uh, uh, obviously, uh, as a peri, uh, it is people like you who make it easier and possible for us to get ideas and share them and possibly find solutions to life, bridge us to the next opportunity, bridge us, bridge us to the next problem that is yet to be solved. Good evening, Mason. Uh, that is a message to you from Mr. Singh. Uh, they... Good evening. Good, good evening, Mr. Singh. I saw the live video you did. Can I just say, Mr. Singh, not only is he a very intellectual, not only is he a very good businessman, he's very philanthropic, I could tell from his heart, but he's somebody who was very enlightened and awakened. And uh, I, I like a businessman when they talk not so much about money, not so much about how much money they are making, and uh, they're talking so much about their spiritual selves. Because I think this is where a lot of people go wrong. Because of, I don't go, most people, they just focus on the money side, but they do not focus on the their persona, their spiritual side. And Mr. Singh is a very spiritual gentleman, I could tell straight away. And I don't know if I told you this, Mr. Mawere, I used to be a chef in London for the past 15 years. And um, I was very impressed with uh, the, the Mr. Singh's restaurants. I was very impressed with how, uh, his, uh, how clean his restaurant is. And most importantly, I was very impressed about it, the people that work for him. Because sometimes, do, do you know how you can tell a good boss, Mr. Mawere? Yeah. Yeah, you tell me you can, according to you. You can tell a good boss by the people that work for you. I saw the two gentlemen that you interviewed, the waiter, and the, I think it's the barman. And all I could see was the exuberance of a they, they were laugh, they were smiling. And you could tell that they, these guys are very happy they're working for somebody who is looking after them. And um the <laughs> you most problems, the, the, the biggest problems in my opinion that most people have got business to do is not to put so much effort in um in, in, in looking after their employers, the people that are working for him. Because if you can make the people that work for you happy, do you know what, Mr. Mawere? They will go an extra mile. And I could tell Mr. Singh, I think that's what he does with his people. And yes, yeah, stay blessed. And we want to see you coming here and give us entrepreneurship and business literacy. Teach us things, especially the Zimbabwean community, because... Most Zimbabwean community, we believe in working for somebody, but we we, we never had this thing yeah, implanted I, in us. You could see we can actually be business bosses, we can create jobs, not to work for somebody, we can create jobs. So I think Mr. Singh, we need him more often if that's okay with you, Mr. Mawere. No, no, you said uh, uh thank you. I'll answer that. Uh, it was butter, chicken, and lamb traditional curry. <laughs> And none breads. Uh, it was very good. And how are you, Mr. Mawere Chimeza says? Fine and you. Then thank you, say. We are following your lead. Imagine I'm called a say by Mr. Singh. Oh, <laughs> <they're not. laughs> and uh, it's uh, always good to be uh, respected when you don't when you have not earned it. But uh, uh, I enjoyed watching you talking about how you started from 2006. Your story was inspirational, and it's always inspirational to have people like Ashperi Nika. There are very few people who watch to learn. Many watch to argue. And uh, your comments were on point. I only wish many people emulate you, stick to the point. Let's get on with it. We all have stories to tell. Let's create a marketplace of stories. And let's celebrate life. 
because we don't create it. We don't even know what it, what it is all about. Did you know that Mr. Singh was going to be watching? No. I, I didn't. <laughs> so how come we pretend to know that which we don't know? You lead, we follow, shepherd. Nobody's leading. There is no step that I have to take in life that I've taken before. Each step I take in life does not belong to me. It belongs to the one who created the step. There are many people who can walk, but are still human. So when we take a step, let's remind ourselves that there is no leader who has been where he has not been. That a second that is unconsumed remains a second that is unconsumed for all, not just for the leader. There is no leader who has got high-heeled shoes to walk over life. We will all walk on our feet. Not all. Some are in wheelchairs. But they keep going. If I have to make a step forward, it is me who takes the step forward, not a leader. When I'm hungry, there's no leader say hunger. When I'm thirsty, it's just a human being who is thirsty. You can't cure it by arguing about it or by pretending you're not human. So we all are human, small as we are, yet others who rise above others because people call them leaders. Is there not a cause to talk about what leadership is? I was asking those people in the restaurant, who do you work for? And Mason says they work for Mr. Singh. And I said, no, you don't work for Mr. Singh. Otherwise, even a tick, you can throw it away. You can kill it without killing the person it is eating from. So we are different. We are complementary. We are diverse. And we are stronger that way. There is division of labor. But together we produce one invoice. In that invoice, there is value add of all the people in it. But if you don't play your part and you are missing in the invoice, then if you are not paid, you are not paid by the customer who doesn't see the need to pay you. Even on, when you are on this show, when you are structured, it means it is a value to everybody. We, his restaurant was well presented. He didn't know that we were broadcasting live. He only became aware of it when I was doing it. But imagine a soldier who is told, let's go to die. And he says, I'm not ready. I'm planning to go on battle. I got friends, I'm too many in, in, in Melbourne called me two days ago. I want to broadcast, should I? I said, hey, why do you need to tell me when you are a member of C2C? You got a logo, put it on. Broadcast wherever you can broadcast. Whatever you've spoken, Fraser, it's your voice. It remains for eternity for others to hear. How many people pass through life without even saying anything? How many people pass through life without saying anything sensible? Yet, Mr. Singh was a soldier, ever prepared to save, not to command. You don't know who is coming next. But you are like a soldier. Jump. How high, say? Not because I'm smart. But because I know when I become a general, others would follow. It doesn't mean you are superior. No. It just means you are orderly. You are structured. You don't work for this general. 
You don't die for the general. You don't die for the country. You die yourself. And you are sovereign. If you choose to be part of something bigger than you, then it will always be all right. So we are here to remind each other that none of us, none of us is above another. I don't even know what tomorrow brings. This morning I got someone's wife to call me. I spoke to the guy three days ago. And the wife says, your friend, my husband, had a stroke. And when he could just speak, he said, call this man. I've never met the wife. I talked to the husband. I said, thank God. At least I know. It reminds me of my own mortality. But the person who calls me, I didn't ask him to call me. But he says, my wife, please know this man. Because he is my friend. I cannot ask dogs to bark. Why should I? Should I be disturbed by flies that come after the same meat I'm eating? No. Otherwise, I end up hungry, chasing after flies. Let me eat so that I cure what is to be cured when I'm hungry. So I go to a restaurant, not to rest, but to cure what needs to be cured for me to re reproduce myself tomorrow. I am grateful I didn't ask for food. But when I was about to leave the restaurant, he says, thank you very much for giving up time without asking for compensation so that others may know that in Santon there is the Royal India restaurant. And I was saying to him, in these times of COVID, and let's have a war against COVID. There are many people who don't know what the future brings, yet we think it's not a war. Where do I learn to survive in the new normal? If we are talking about nothing, talking about dividing each other, who is Benz, who is not Benz, who is smart, who is not smart. So when, I, as Perry says, I learned something. But it's possible when we are organized. Only yesterday, I brought in a Zimbabwean living in South Africa who developed an app called Any Marie. M A R I dot com. N N A N Y M A R I dot com. So that people can send money cheaper to their loved ones. So that when we are organized, and he says, I, I need to see whether this thing works. Can you send money to Dubai so that I can prove it works? Secondly, I will not do business with a person I don't know. And I had to call the person to come to the restaurant. And this Zimbabwe developer, you can see him. He was there <clears throat> yesterday. If you go on my wall, you see him as you pay. But he's a developer, he's a thinker. He has given us a platform and said, this platform is for C2C. To see. Let's use it to make life convenient, to pay for food. You know, uh, 
Mason, you can pay for food. And uh, in England, and rice will go to Zimbabwe for you, but cheaper. How many of us go to retail mm -hmm. because we are disorganized? Imagine each one of us, one's oxtail, one, one's mazondo, and we place our orders on an app, and the beast is slaughtered for us. And each one get their pound of flesh. Mm -hmm. And we all pay less. How many people in life pay more because of ignorance? Mm -hmm. So we squander our time here talking about arguments. Mm -hmm. Who is gay? Who is not gay? <laughs> huh? Who is naked? Who is not naked? How foolish can we be? Huh? Somebody gets joy that I now I am going to fight my way. What can I find on him so that I can fight him? <clears throat> it's like a mosquito trying to stop an elephant from walking. Mm -hmm. How many people are mosquitoes of life, like all of us? Yet in our minds, we are like balloons inflated with ego. That finds expression on social media mm -hmm. <clears throat> instead of talking about what matters. Yeah. Definitely. I've tried, tested, and it works like a bullet. This is a mm. Mr. Singh, who is from India, and says, no, I have tried it. Just the spirit of trying something new, that's faith. You don't have to go to heaven. Martin Luther King said, I've seen the promised land. <laughs> With my mind, eyes, I may not get there with you. But we as a people will get there. But he could see, he could imagine a future without him. How many of us have stopped imagining? Mm -hmm. Because we know everything. Mm -hmm. I have tried test and it works like a bullet. Going to use it in all my restaurant, cut less payment. But I was just a bridge between the developer and Mr. Singh. Had I not been there, see to see, the two, the developer, would have the best development, but no users. Imagine we work with Mr. Singh to allow those in the diaspora to be at home. Those who are robbed by banks, by reserve banks, telling you that you must exchange your hard-earned money at an exchange rate that is punitive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then I must send my money by Mkuru, World Remit, Western Union. What about Southern Union? Why can't we call it? Our own bridge. Why can't we be any Marie? Not any Marie, M A R I dot com. Why can't we be the change that we want to see and say no tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Because today is the only time I'm gifted to make a choice. How many people tell you, leave it with me? I'm planning. What are you planning when life itself is not yours? Mason, have you ever heard people, planners, geniuses, they die before they can spend their money? Yeah, 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 <laughs> so many. It shows in the bank account <clears throat> as a positive balance, but you don't have life to spend it. Mm -hmm. Plenty, How many plenty people without money live longer to beg for it? Mm-hmm. Wonderful, so, wonderful. So that's why we are here. Mm -hmm. 
yeah. to provoke people like Mason. You see, mm -hmm. to, to provoke people like Mason to be able to be themselves, not to be a fraction of another. Mukoma Masimba says, I was testing you <laughs> by hijacking you. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> And it's correct. How many people stand for something? Uh, it's questionable. Many, <laughs> no. How many people just get along? Just flow yeah. with the wind. But going nowhere. Instead of saying, let's get on with it. We have four minutes to go. And mm -hmm. we must stop it. When it's 30 minutes. Okay. All right. Um, thank you. Very, very eloquent and very, very enlightening as always, Mr. Mawere. And uh, yeah, I've picked up a few points. And if I can just say a few things from Jamataura, um, the one number thing, yes, Mr. Singh, thank you very much for being here. I can't. No, you are speaking to an Indian man. Is a thing. Is okay. A thing. Okay. And sorry. You are sorry. Now trying to convince ah, yeah, yeah. him before now on a live show. <laughs> So, okay, Mr. Singh, okay, listen, I'm just going to go back to what I've just said. There's something that you, Mr. Mawere, asked you, and it's not word verbatim, but I think he asked you on the lines of how did you know what you're going to do was going to be successful, something along those lines. I can't ex remember the exact words. And you said yourself, uh, Mr. Singh, sir, you said, I had faith. And I think you must have said you got vision. So I think... That's a very, very important point that I took from you there. Uh, the point that you need to believe in yourself. So wherever there's a will, there's a way. When you are determined, this is what I'm going to do, it will happen. For example, this gentleman, this app developer, this Zimbabwean guy, you know, if he had listened to other people, they would say, you know what, this is not going to go nowhere. But he was self-determined. And look what happens. You miss Mr. Mawere. Now you meet Mr. Singh. Now his apps is going to be used in his restaurant. And for all those people in South Africa, in Stanton, whatever it is, go and support Mr. Singh because he's one of us. He's a good gentleman. Go and buy things. Go and buy food from his restaurant because he's a good gentleman. But yes, I picked up a few things that are very, very fundamental in business acumen. And Mr. Mawere, I'm just going to finalize it by saying this. In Zimbabwe, I think there should be a new dispensation. A new dispensation in meaning, let's not, let's abandon this work um, job mentality. Let's, 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 let's uh, jump on this business creation mentality. And it's going to start from with me. Uh, I already do my own business over here, Mr. Mawere, but let's think that I can create a business. J don't go to universities thinking I need to get a job. You can create a job like what this app developer has done. So, yes, thank you, Mr. Singh, and thank you, Mr. Mawere, and thank you, Mr. Koma Masiba. Okay, thank you very much, and uh, perhaps in another show we will learn that thank we are not here to help anybody. We are here to exchange value, value for value. The gentleman is called Love More, Chaningeta. He's got an education platform. We'll bring, me, bring him here. He's also got, uh, he's an IT man, like we used to say. That uh, the business, even the guy who owns the restaurant is a worker. So let's not abandon the culture of working. Thinking that somebody is destined to lead me. Let us be the face of change. That in you is the power of causation and agency. If you believe in something, don't do it because it pleases somebody. 
Do it because you are solving a human problem. Mm -hmm. So we are here to be a problem solver. Finally, an entrepreneur is an undertaker of a promise. It's a human being. No plan. Today, some people know Mr. Singh because he bought that to be there. Others who say, switch off the camera. That's How true. many people are silly that they want to operate at midnight with no camera? They don't want to shine. They are afraid. They will say, come on this day because I'm not prepared. When life doesn't prepare you for the next bridge, that person you don't know. So Mason, just continue to be there even if you are abused. The more you are there, the more you learn. There is nobody who was born to know everything. You don't have to know everyone. But life gives you an opportunity to pass time to, uh, while others are marking time as if they are little gods. While others are telling you it can't be done. And you just say, I'm doing it. I'm hosting a show. So if I were to ask you, what did you learn? Your summary is not what you learned this show. You have imported your own ideas about the relation between men and work, that there must be identities. Those you call employers are not employers, Mason. They work for the customer. The whole pyramid from the CEO to the person in the shop floor, to the waiter, to the waitress. So, it means we must remember that no pyramid can stand on its own. No much thing can create a pyramid, but human beings can. The one at the top, it doesn't make him a super genius. He's just ordering ourselves. Each one on the other's shoulders. So that together we stand tall and see the enemy before it at he attacks us. Get our eyes to expand, to be elastic. So those who believe the company belongs to the shareholder, please don't join C to C. Get a ticket to heaven. Because a company is an association of human beings, not animals. When we choose to associate, more can be done in the name of what we choose to be the vehicle. I believe let your, your victory be your voice. You can't be a victor by ordering others to do that which you can not do for yourself. You can't be a champion having a vision that you don't have. How many so-called leaders stand tall and say they know what they don't know? And you believe them. And you trust them to lead you where they've not been. So finally, those people who complain they remain, I believe you praise you, praise you will be raised. So that's where we are, Mason. We are yeah, all yes. employees of that enemy called customer. Mm -hmm. You build your restaurant in good faith. You open it. You buy the equipment. You buy everything. But imagine nobody wants to eat your food. What do you call that place? Imagine you build a hotel. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to sleep there. Nobody wants to eat there because Uncle Corona said you can't be at the same place. What do you do? Huh? Uh, 
Uh, tough one. I think you need to think outside the box, come up with a new innovative, because um, for every every challenge, there's always said for every level you reach, there's a new devil. Is that not what they say in English? Every level you reach, there's a new devil. So whatever challenging situation that you have, think outside the box, what can I do to, yes, there's coronavirus, yes, there's social distancing, this is what the authorities are saying, but what are you going to do? Because every challenge requires and forces you to think further, think outside the box, come up with new creative minds. Karisa, even back in our history, that's how all the scientific breakthroughs and all our philosophies, these are people who were forced, they were pushed to the edge, asked the questions, what can I do? What should I do? And it is through these big questions in challenging situations. If you've been put through on the corner and you're like, okay, I'm stuck on the corner now. What can I do? How can I come up in this corner? And I think the likes of Mr. Singh, uh, who are very innovative, they always, that's what a businessman does. A businessman is always coming up with new solutions, new innovative, innovative skills and new opportunities because there's always an opportunity. Any threat that comes in your way, it's an opportunity. That's what a good businessman does. I think Mr. Singh will probably echo what I'm saying. Any threat that comes but, in your way, you're, it's an opportunity. You are already running into the risk of hero worshipping somebody. You are a Singh yourself. Right. Never allow yourself to be less human. Mm -hmm. You are not a fraction of Mr. Singh. Mr. Singh doesn't know. So let's have an opportunity where you just talk about yourself. Right. So that is not a story of one man. Mr. Singh has just told you in a very short space. Mm -hmm. If he was, if he was a Zimbabwean, you, you elect him a leader. Uh, not me. <laughs> no, I have to say, not me. <laughs> no, no. I'm saying is you are a leader of your own life. Yeah. So let's salute you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do we think outside the box or how to enlarge the current one? There are people who created boxes to bury themselves in it. That's thinking out of their box. But outside the box of common sense, logic and reason. So let's not create boxes so that we bury ourselves in boxes. Very good question, Karabo Molichella. Very good question. Very good question. Now you are a headmaster on a live show. What is a good question? We are going to have a, a show on what is a good question. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the topic for the next show, Mr. Mawere. What, <laughs> what is I a think? good question? <laughs> <laughs> well, so, so, Mr. Singh, says, when you are surrounded by, by enemies, shoot in any direction. <laughs> because Hitler says, don't be, don't be reserved. Just shoot. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, and, and Mr. Mawere, do you know what else Hitler said? Uh, Hitler said, tell a big lie so many times, eventually people will believe it. That's what I Hitler was, I thought it, I thought it was Dr. Joseph Goebbels. I don't know, but I quoted Hitler. He said, tell no. a big lie and tell it more often on a daily basis, eventually people will believe it. No, I think it was Goebbels who was the Minister of Propaganda. Ah, okay. It could be. It might have been. Yeah. <laughs> he was the jo Jonathan Moy of Germany. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> okay, All right.